Hey guys, I thought I'd show you a little update of our homestead from May. I can't show you the meat birds because I don't get them till Monday. But I thought I'd show you the rest of what's going on. This is my um, sweet potato plant. I thought I'd give them a try this year. Peppers. Um, more peppers. This this is um, poblanos. What's this? Let me see what this is. Oh, honey do melon. I thought I'd try one of those. And of course, this is another poblano. And then I have two pear, yellow pear tomato plants. They are so good. And then this is my um, chives, which I've already cut down and already dehydrated some. And then this is a sunny yellow tomato. Or, I'm sorry, sun sugar tomato. And, of course, my lettuce. And we'll take you around this way. I've got some flowers out. And over there, I don't know if you can see it or not, I haven't really got them planted yet. That is my thing I made last year for my spices, which I definitely need to get planted. And then right here is two blueberry or two blackberry and two raspberry plants that we need to get in the ground because I think they're probably getting root bound. But we wanted to get the um, right across back here. It was all full of bushes and we took them out except for those two. And then that's where our raspberries and blackberries are going to go. And by the time we're done, we'll have four blackberries and four raspberries. Anyway, let's go check out the animals. I'm sure you can hear my chickens. Sorry, my ground's not too even in my backyard. Hello, girls. Hello, girls. I got eight chickens. They're laying me seven to eight eggs a day. Trying to get their gate closed. Hey, baby, do you want petted? Yeah, you want petted, don't you? How are you today? Hi, honey. How are you doing today? Hi, babies. My girls like to be petted. Anyway, they're doing great. There's a little chicken coop. Now we'll go see the goats. Hello, Bailey. Hello, Kalua. Hi, Mocha. How are you guys this morning? My animals have definitely turned me into morning pe person because I have to be up at 6 a.m. to let them out. Hi. Hi, how are you guys? How are you, Kalua? Yeah. You enjoying this cool weather? Huh? <clears throat> okay. Guys, I have to show you something I think is so cool. First, this one here. They can jump up on this. which This holds their feed. And they can scratch the side of themselves with this. Right here. And then we put two, we're going to put a third one on, I get some screws on the, the post of their shed and they scratch themselves on it all the time. Huh, Bailey? And as you see, they like to follow me. As you see here, I raked all this up and they took their feet out and brought it back outside and put it here because apparently when it's sunny, this is where they like to lay. So they use their feed to make them a bed. And every time I pick it up, they uh, pour more out. So I just end up wasting a bunch of feed. So I decided, you know what? If they want that down there as a bed to lay on in the sun, I'm going to let them have it. Yeah. They're like little dogs. They love to be petted. Huh. Like I said, I got a jacket on because it's a little cool. Anyway, we'll take you out here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I've got geese in my field. Let's see if I can bring that in. I don't know if you can see them or not. 
There we go. Check it out. That's the cornfield. We got a lot of geese in it. Anyway, I just think it's cool. We get deer in the field too, so. There's a close shot. Okay, let's take you the rest. Oh, I forgot. I'm locked in. I keep little locks on here because what people don't realize is goats are really smart animals. And they can get out these little locks. So I keep these little hooks on here so they can't get out on me and escape. Anyway, we'll bring you over here and let you check out the garden. There's my onions. They're doing really good. Excuse the weeds in between the beds. We haven't uh, got all the weeds cut down. It's a never ending chore with these weeds, especially as much rain as we got. These haven't come up yet, but these are my potatoes. Oh, I take that back. I have a little one right there. Okay. And my trees. This one is my cherry tree. Peach. Plum. And they're loaded with berries, thank goodness, as you can see right here. Apple, that is my Granny Smith. And here's another apple, which is my Honeycrisp. So they're doing really good take you back. Well, we'll go back and fish the raised beds and then I will take you to the garden spot. Okay, this is more lettuce that's coming up. And then over here are my beets and they're coming up real nice. And then of course my strawberries. I'm just loaded this year with strawberry plants. And then over here is my watermelon, and I don't know if you can see it or not, but they're coming up. And then over here is my cantaloupe, doing real nice. And then as we pan over here, um, it's supposed to be green beans, and they're starting to come up. I didn't weed eat around my green beans because I wanted to make sure they were up before I weed eat because I didn't want to pull them out and they're coming up so as you can see so I'll be weeding this area and you see I put straw down in between the two rows I wanted to try that but in a way to use up the straw for my goats but I don't think it's going to work out well Anyway, I do weed my garden, but we've had three and a half, almost four days of rain. So, it doesn't even look like I did anything. But anyway, this is a row of broccoli. And over here is another row of broccoli. And then here is a row of cabbage. As you can see. That's purple cabbage. And then over here, I have a row of regular green cabbage, and it goes all the way back there. And next row is peppers. And of course, they also go all the way back. And then we have our tomatoes. And they're doing really well. And I hear my outdoor kitty. Of course, that goes back, and I have two rows of those. First row, I have Roma. Second row, I have Better Boy and Purple uh, Cherokee. And then, of course, here I have more peppers, but these are the um, gypsy peppers, the small little peppers. And this, when it comes up, is going to be my carrots. And then this row is zucchini. And then over here, I have three rows 
of pumpkin and they go all the way back that way so anyway let me get out of the way here this is an overview of the garden and of course right here I have cucumbers growing and I'll take you this way over here on the chicken coop is another big apple tree that was here when we moved in and we had to prune it back quite a bit because it was in really bad shape when we got here they had dogs over here and, and that whole area was just in really bad shape and then last but not least on our list over here by the goats is my pear tree and that's it for the homestead as far as updates go oh and we got a bunch of wood that we need to cut up for the winter but this is it for the homestead for May on a cloudy chilly day which is perfect because after I post this, I'm going to come out and weed my garden. Oh, I have a kitty yelling at me. Honey's probably wanting to go in the house. She's not a big fan of the wind. Of course, neither is Tigger. He's probably in the house as it is. I have two outdoor cats. Let me see if we can get her. Hi, honey. Do you want to go in? You ready to go in? Okay. Anyway, I have two outdoor cats that are micers, and neither one of them like the wind at all. And as you can see, there's our wood pile. It's got to be split and gotten ready for winter. And of course, as well as the garden, we're going to have to get wood and stuff for winter. I'm having problems with gates today, people. You ready to go in, honey? Let's see if Tigger's inside. Come on. Take you back and we'll check and see if my other cat's inside. He does not like the wind at all. A little flowers on my table. We leave the store open at least till this evening with the boots so Tigger and Honey can come in as they please. Nope, he's out. Anyway, she wants in. Anyway, you guys have a good day. And I'll bring you back for more updates. See you on the next video. Bye.